this is the lovely bracelet we'll be making today. Okay, so what I'm starting off with is called vinyl cord. And I use the white one as my starter cord. And I'm going to make this cord, I'm sorry, bracelet for my granddaughter. I'm going to use the pink and the blue. So I like to measure the white cord right there and I want it to be at least 10 inches. So as you can see, it's 10 inches. So I already cut the blue. I don't, I don't really measure because I just want to make sure I have enough cord because you don't want to run out of cord. So then once I cut the blue, I'm just going to measure the pink right along with the blue. And that's what I'm doing here. So now what I like to do is see it, what I'm doing with the pink cord. I'm taking it and I'm going to put it a little past the white cord. That's just so I can have extra working because it's just my preference. Um, once I finish the bracelet down, I like to uh, have the opposite side, which is the side up at the top right here, look like the side at the bottom. Because to me... If I started off at that end, it's not, it doesn't look like the bottom to me. So that's what I do. So now here I'm measuring, I think I'm measuring probably about uh, three inches down, I want to say. And then I'm, I'm going to put um, tape across there so it will hold while I'm nodding. So right there at the about the three inch mark. And now also what I like to do to make it a little sturdier, I'll get another piece of tape and I'll take those cords right there at the top, which is not going to move at the top. But what I do is I kind of double them up and I'll put tape across that too. That's just to make it a little sturdier just for my own preference. Um, so now when I pull on the cord, if I have to pull on the cord, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so the way I get started, I start from left to right, or you can start from right to left. It doesn't matter, you know, just whichever way you like to do it. But that this is just particularly the way I like to do it, to start from left to right. So the pink is going to be like the, I call it the dominant color because you're going to see more pink than blue because the pink is going to be the one that's doing like a zigzag type and the blue is going to be doing um, just the, on the sides. So I had take, I took the pink and I went across the top. Now I'm taking the blue and going underneath the two whites and the pink. Now see, I have to secure that because it's not very secure. So I'm going to get... A piece of tape and tape that down okay now let me finish so now I'm I tighten it there so now I'm gonna go from right to left so I put the pink across the white now I'm getting the end of the blue and I'm going under the white and under the pink cord and I'm pulling so I like to pull to make it a little tight so it won't so it won't go anywhere okay so now same thing so now I'm going from left to right and then I'm going to take the blue and like I did and this time I'm doing a little different method but it's the same thing I'm going under the two whites and under the pink and just pulling the only reason I did it like that is because the cord is so long and sometimes it does get intertwined. So I'm going from left to right. I mean, it's just the same pattern, you know, left to right. And now you take the blue and you put it under the two white and then you also put it under the pink and you pull through. I think this is called the Cobra Knot. I'm not for sure. 
I've watched so many videos, so I can't tell you exactly whose videos I didn't watch. I didn't watch so many, but if I get a particular video that I'm going to watch, I will let you know and I'll um, like put it up so you can see whose video that I did get inspired by and who, whose video I did choose to use when I'm doing another um, bracelet. Okay, so there's just another knot. And um, from right... I'm sorry, from left to right, and the blue is going under. So I think you all get what I'm saying here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up uh, the process. Okay, now right here, I'm counting to make sure I have, um, I think I did 22 of the knots. Maybe I didn't have 22. I'm just going to do... I think a couple of more are right here, maybe not one. Okay, so yeah, not in one, so that's 21. So now, now I'm gonna lift it up from the tape. And showing how nice and even it is. So now I'm gonna clip I have to cut the uh, blue and the pink cord, and it is nylon. I'm tightening it right here to make sure it's nice and sturdy. So I'm going to clip the blue. And I'm just going to burn it because nylon, um, it melts. So, you know, it melts real easily. Now I'm picking up the others just so I can um, have working room. Like, I'm be able to work with it real good. So, same process. You want to leave just a little bit of the cord so when um, you go to light it, it'll melt down a little bit and it'll hold everything in place. And you see with those longer cords, um, they won't go to waste because I'm going to use the pink one. Oh, I need to get in focus. I'm sorry, in camera. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do with this side, um, and I don't know if you can see what I was talking about, but to me, it just doesn't look even um, when I start from a particular side. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this down. Well, the white cord, I'm going to tape the white cord down. I'm sorry. No, the tape the, and I'm just going to do one more knot, which that'll make it 22. So the pink across and the blues under the white and the pink. Now I'm just going to pull it real tight to make sure 
it's going to be nice and it's going to be um sturdy. It's going to be tight. It's not going to come loose. So I'm going to do this side the same way I did um, the other side. Cut both, cut the uh, blue and the pink, burn them, and they'll be set. Now, if you're younger and, you know, you're not supposed to play with, uh, fire you can ask a guardian to help you out i mean it's real easy to do but if you can't um they do have some things that's called wire burners that i think will work i've never used them but right here i'm measuring these up to make sure oh right well i'm sorry on here now i'm going to show you that's what i was doing at first and i'm showing you how it's different on each side like this side right here is the pink side you flip it over you have the blue with the pink on the outside so the other side it has the pink with the blue on the outside but on this side it's blue with the pink on the outside okay so it's basically two bracelets in one when you do a double color so now what i'm doing is just i'm lining it up to make sure everything is even and now i'm just going to snip the end off Now, of course, this is not going to fit on my arm because my arm is not as well, my arm is bigger than my granddaughter's. So I'm just snipping it off. Now I'm going to tie the two ends together. Usually I tie each end um, like separately, but I'm going to tie both of these together this time. Just a regular knot. Now I'm going to the other side and doing the same thing. Now I'm just going to cut a little bit off the tip so when I burn it, um, it won't be so much to burn. And I won't burn my fingers. I will do the opposite side the same way. Now I'm going to take the two hanging ends and cross them over. So I can make a little sliding knot for the bracelet to make it bigger and smaller. I have to take a piece of tape to hold it down. So you with the tape, it helps me work better. And that pink cord to the left, that's what I'm gonna be using. That's just extra from when I made the bracelet. So now I have to tape the little bottom piece down too because that is in the way. So basically what I'm going to do with the pink um, th nylon cord is the same as I did with the bracelet. Right here I'm lining it up to make sure it's centered. And then I'm going to start from left to right. So on the left side, I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the bracelet. The left piece goes across the top of the two white cords, well four, and then the right goes under the left and, and pull out. 
So it's basically the same um, process, the nodding process. And I make about, I want to say, I think I'm going to make about four of those. Okay, right here, I'm making sure it's um, tight and that the cords will be able to slide. Just checking to make sure in case I have to loosen it before um, I cut them and I burn the ends. Right here, same process. Just cut and you burn the end of it. Make sure it's secure. Turn it around. You do the other side. You just snip off the cord. You burn it. And make sure it's secure. And that's it to making this lovely bracelet. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.